Hello, welcome back. Okay, welcome. A pleasure to see you again. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How have you been? Tell me. How do you feel today? A little tired. A little tired? Yeah, we... I need um, the free day, the Mother's Day. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that does mean that tomorrow you are not going to work. Yeah, yes. The day, then you are going to take the day off. The day off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the day off. Okay, congratulations to all the moms.
I'm still waiting for the rest of the class. But in some minute, I'm going to check out the attendance and we are going to start talking about the topic for today. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Okay, here we go. We are going to start checking the attendance. So please, as soon as you hear your name, just say present. Adriana del Carmen. Present teacher. Welcome. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Present. Escobar. Present. Selina Guadalupe. Diana Stephanie. Present. Eric Orlando. Francis Elizabeth. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. María Elena. Present teacher. In a few minutes, I turn on my camera. Okay, thank you. Maria Ernesto. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Mayra. Mayra Veralice. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Welcome. Santos Misael Cañas. It's not here. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. Jenny Suleima. Yesenia Lisset. Not here yet. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Welcome back. We are going to continue talking about, about the topic that we have in the material. I don't know, we have only yes, 12. And so not connecting now. Okay, let us start now. Okay, this is video conference number six. And we are going to talk uh, something about the uh, seven R's in logistics. But before to start, um, we are going to talk about this uh, what that we have here. I would like that somebody read it, please. And tell me what do you think about that? Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. The best way to predict to predict the future is to create create. Okay, thank you. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Abraham Lincoln said this. Okay, I I, I would like to know what. Uh, what do you infer as soon as you see this quote? Tell me. I want to hear your point of view related with this. And for me is that if you want uh, something, you should work for that. And maybe uh, you can start with a little step, but at the end, this can help you to, to achieve your goal. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Hello. Okay, I need that you give me your point of view about this quote. I'm going to stop sharing now. Listen, the best way to predict the future is to create it. What do you think about that? Tell me. Give me your point of view. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Welcome. Um, from my point of view, I agree with that quote because everything we do right now, in the present, basically we'll make our future with better opportunities, uh, more doors to open to more possibilities. Okay, that is true. Thank you, sir. And somebody else in the last one, because we need to continue.
you know all variables you know what actually we're gonna do we we hear only uh, the, the last part could, could you repeat again please sir hey if you know all variables about the future you know what we to do okay Hey, thank you. Somebody else? No? Okay, let us talk about another issue. Um, before to start with the topic, I don't know if it is possible that you see it. Oh man, let me see. I need to I need to do something now here. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go again. Okay, let us talk about this. Um, as you can see, I got uh, a flow chart. I need that you remember your shuffle memories uh, based on pecs, places, hobbies, possessions. What can you tell me about that? Did it relate it with you, with your childhood? Do you still remember the name of the pets that you used to have? Do you remember the places that you used to visit? The hobbies that you used to practice? Who wants to share? Me teacher. Okay, do it, sir. Um, for example, um, about the places I used to remember uh, when my father uh, took me to El Mundo Feliz. Okay. Yeah, that, that was uh, a, a picture that I have in my mind. And about hobbies, um, I used to collect marbles. Okay, marbles. Marble of, uh -huh, and and uh, well, about pets. Um, when I was a kid, I used to have cats and, and, and one dog. What about possession? Uh, about possessions, um, I had a bicycle. Okay. And, um, let me see, toys. Um, a lot of toys, especially dinosaurs. Oh, dinosaur. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to talk about. Somebody else? Me, me, teacher Wendy. Okay, tell me. Uh, the pet, I remember a uh, beard. And 
uh, rabbit. Rabbit. Yes. Um, hobbies. Uh, watch television. And play with my friends in, in my house. Um, play. Um, Saburo Irao in Las Alegres. <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> Possession. Uh, Baldo. <laughs> okay. That's it. So, Maria? Maria? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, about pet, I have a, I had a puppy when I was child, named Tutti. I, I really love to play with, with this dog. Uh, about hobbies, I, I really love to play. Uh, Softball with my neighborhood. About places, I I I really love to go gone. I don't know to my uh, grandmother house. Okay. And possession, my Barbie. Your Barbie doll. Okay. Thank you, somebody else. Somebody else? Well, as you can see, uh, only us, if a, a few of you want to participate, even though that I'm trying to switch some a little bit. I don't know if somebody else wants to say something about. No? Okay, if you don't want to, okay, let us start with the topic now. Okay, uh, let us start. We have uh, two questions here. Who wants to read the first one? Me. What are the responsibilities of a logistic, logistian? Logistian. Logistian. Okay. Any idea related with, with, with the responsibilities? Lion Station. It is the right pronunciation, Lion Station. And the second one say, what do you think logistics is about? Okay, if you want, you can make an, a screenshot and let us talk about this. 
But I need that you participate, that you tell me what do you think about the topic that I'm presenting? Because if you don't talk, every, everything is going to be quiet, silent, you know. And what I need is that you be uh, up to you and you are going to share your idea with the rest of the class. For me, a logician uh, should be aware about the supply chain, distribution, transportation, maybe production. Oh, okay. Thank you. Somebody else? What about you, Mario Ernesto? What do you think about this? For me, the uh, person and logistics is a person who who cares about how, like a a, a, a parent said, uh, a, is responsible about the logistic. Um, Logistic, transportation, um, personal, um, publicity. Oh, only that. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Hello. Somebody else? I have a concept. Okay, tell me. Set of the necessary means to carry out uh, a determined and of a complicated process. Okay. Okay, thank you, somebody else. What about the second question? Do you remember the second question? What do you think logistic is about? Hello, 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 hello. Well, I'm here just waiting. If all of you participate, we are not going to feel, um, you know, like I'm alone here, only just talking with two or three students. But I need that all of you get involved in the class. For that reason, I'm inviting you to, to talk about the, the topic that we are studying. And I need that you give your point of view. We have two questions that we can discuss. So please try to do it now. Remember, this is in an intermediate level. That means that you are able to communicate, to convey the meaning that, that you want to. So please try to do it.
from my point of view, I guess um, it's about to organize the process of the product, taking into account maybe um, the number of product, the days, and also how many products go out in, 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 in something related with that because okay. uh, from my point of view, it is my first time hearing logistics. Okay. But I guess it's that about, about a process. Okay, thank you. Uh, logistic speciality are typical to share a responsible for a query and monitor research and during development the transport the product and for sales. Okay. We are very close to the concept, right? Remember that, that we are we have a study and it's just that. At the end, uh, all of you are going to have a clear concept related with logistics and supply chain also. That is the main purpose, that's... Yeah, it's department of logistics in the... Bodega, uh, como se dice? The warehouse. Warehouse and the logistic and distribution and department. Okay. What about you, Laura? What can you tell us about the first one, the second question? Is the process of coordinating the details of the supply chain of a company or organization teacher. Okay, thank you. What about you, Saira? Ay, sorry, teacher. No, estaba pendiente. Ah, okay. And you, Wendy? And then Escobar? Repeat the question, please. I'm going to show you again the two questions because uh, I'm going to show you the question in order that you can have a better idea. In the first question. The first or the second one is up to you, but you got it there. Uh, in my in my company or in my work? No, in a general idea related with this. Ah, general. Or if you want to talk uh, about your company. You can do it. I consider that all of you at, at this moment, or are you already have your own concept related with, with logistics, right? Logistics, uh, what, what reference? Or I don't know. What do you understand about logistics? What do you consider in that my, logistic in is? Case, in my case, no logistic. Uh, only, only, only uh, employee. I, I work all the company in all process and all tickets and all logistics. <laughs> no, no. In my case, nothing logistic. Really? I, yeah. Yo hago todo. yeah, of course, but uh -huh. I know, but, but uh, based on that, 
you need to be ready to do something or as soon as somebody asks you for a ticket, you know what to do. It's part of your logistic that you need to follow. Yes. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Uh, I think logistic is person, um, the made inventory, for the move of the suppliers. Okay. What about Maria Concepcion or Maria Elena? Oh, Juan Carlos, Jesenia Lisette. I need that all of you participate. I'm going to, to tell in this way. Imagine that you are going to celebrate uh, to your daughter a 15 patty. You are going to apply logistic there, how you are going to receive all the, all the people, uh, how you are going to prepare all the tables, the SNRE, that is that we call logistic. I don't know if you got my, my, my ideas. No? Hello? I'm not getting uh, the feedback that I want. For that reason, I recommend you to read the material before to come to the class and try to look for the words that you don't understand in your dictionary. And that way you are going to ha uh, have a clear idea of what we are going to talk about. Because right here in this level, I can be translating everything into Spanish. No, you need to get more vocabulary related with, with, this, with a topic. And the only way that you can do it is just to create your own vocabulary. And also you need to, don't be afraid to share your ideas about something. At the end, we are going to respect your point of view. But I, I, I've been tell, uh, telling you that I don't want to be the one that is going to be just speaking here because what we need is that you develop the language. And the only way that you can do it is just practicing. But if you don't practice, if you just practice uh, listening or reading, for me, the most important is speaking because in that way you are going to communicate better. And I continue inviting you to share your ideas. Because if you, when I ask you a question, if you, if anybody answered the question, uh, everything is, is quiet. And maybe some of you say, oh, wow, this is a boring class. But it's all depend on you if you don't want to participate. Tell me. Teacher. Hello. Logistic is um, all process you need to do uh, for anything, um, transportation, um, uh, lobby, I don't know, all things for uh, an event or for um, transportate uh, some products. Logistician. Other. Okay. 
kitchen, other other places, uh, for the people, for the things that that do you need make. Okay. Okay, at the end, what we can say is that logistic is uh, all the steps that we need to follow in order to, um, in order that we can uh, realize a, an operation in a company. But let us see a conversation here in the material. And it is related with this. Okay, they uh, read this conversation between Alex and Pam about some issues with their order or their forms and their distribution centers. And Alex said, uh, sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order form from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no. Please call the manager from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperatures. I already did, but there is something I had to tell you. One of the, one of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay. As I said at the beginning, Alex and Pam are talking about the issues with their order form and their distribution centers have to do with uh, distribution channel too. Do you want to read again? Any questions so far from here? Hello? Hello. Hello. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Any questions so far from here? I have no question. Okay, tell me. I have no questions. Ah, you don't have questions. Okay. What about the rest of the class? Clear. Okay, clear. Okay, I'm going to read again and then you are going to practice. If you don't have, have any, any questions, it's, it's gonna be better, okay? Sales will go down this now, spam. There was a problem with the order. The order for from the websites and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have been forwarded to the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I had to tell you. One of the great uh, create uh, was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturers. They will know what to do. Okay. Right here in this conversation, um, 
These words are, are meaning no the usual. Don't get confused with that words. You need to look in a dictionary in order to understand another meaning. Because in this case, it is referring to, to something else. Okay, any questions so far from here? Hello? If you don't have the material, yeah, so please uh, try to make a screenshot. I'm going to stop. Uh, who is Craters? Craters. Create, create. Create. Yes. Okay, the meaning of the word. Uh, have, have you seen uh, in maybe in your company something that is made up of good? in order to pull all the, the product. Because I don't want to translate it into Spanish. That for that reason, I'm telling you in this way. I don't know if you got my idea. Hello? You got my idea? Maria Elena? Hello? Are you still there? Yes. Yes, you should have the idea. Credit is like boxes. Excuse me? Yes, it's around here. Okay, okay, okay. Credit is like uh, uh, something you... Uh, uh, yeah, it is a box made of good, especially in uh, in which you can put your product in order to move to another place or to another country and so on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let us let us practice the conversation. Okay, so please accept uh, the invitation. Wendy, Mario, and Yesenia. Just analyze it. Diana is waiting for you. Hello. 
No. I told Diana and Stephanie alone for that reason I get in. Aquí estoy, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. La vi sola. That, that is the reason why I get in. Okay. okay thank you. Okay, you can practice. Okay. Hey, let's start just saying.
Okay, let us practice. Who wants to do it? What about you, Maria Elena? I am going with Saira. Okay. okay good. I am the first. Sales will go down this month. Pam, there has problem with the order from farms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution center that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right store temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damage batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The word, I repeat again, the word temperature. 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 Okay. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. Carlos and Nitish. Okay, hold on. Yesenia, one of your please, and then Mario. Okay, Yesenia. Okay, it's better if you raise your hand in that way. Okay, Yesenia. Okay, the um, I'm going to put the la I'm going to share. Hold on a second. Right there. Okay. You first. Uh, say who got down this bomb, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution settings. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution centers that reside or batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the grades was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Adriana. Okay, continue. Okay. Um, I'm Alex. Sales yes. will go down this month. Um, there was a problem with the other forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the money from the distribution center that was says all the batteries. We have to enforce them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries were are damaged. I will call the personally to request for the damaged battery to be sent to the manufacturers. They will know what to do. Okay.
Adriana. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay. Ana Lilian. Present. Escobar. Present. Selina. Diana Stephanie. Present. Eric Orlando. Francis. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Mario, Present teacher. Okay. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, who wants to continue with the conversation? Wendy and me, teacher. Okay, sir. Uh, Uh, I'm Alex. Okay. Mm, sales will go down this month, man. There was a problem with the orders from from the website, and the product were not delivered to the right distribution center. Oh no! Please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will send them personally to request for the damaged battery to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else? Okay, if you don't want to read, just tell me what is the main idea about the conversation, what they are talking about, the issue that, that, that they are discussing. The batteries are damaged because how about about hundred? Okay. If something happened, if something like that happened, that means that um, they maybe need to switch the logistic that they are using, right?
Well, what do you think? Do you think that they need to continue doing the same step that they are doing, even though that uh, some batteries uh, damage? Hello. I think they need to review their uh, process, distribution process. Okay. I don't know if you remember uh, what we have started uh, in the previous module related with, uh, with this moment that we are talking about chain supply and something like that. What, what they need to do in order to, to correct that problem. Try to remember what we have studied in the previous module. Do you consider that uh, As soon as they saw the problem, they need to apply a swap analysis of this, of this issue that they are facing. Or they need to do something else. What do you think? We also have to study the channel distribution, uh, or do you consider that they what they need to do is just to switch the way that they are using? Tell me, what do you think about? I consider teacher a problem with the order form from the website. Yeah, according to conversation. Okay. If they ha are having problem with that, what they need to do in order to solve the problem? The problem oh. is uh, uh, the match uh, well, the match is battery. Okay. And also at the beginning of the conversation, there is something that said that the product were not delivered to the right distribution. What happened then? not handle it correctly, um, correctly um, manejo teacher the, the product. Okay, ha handle. Okay, what else can you infer about the conversation? Tell me. Not is the correct distribution center. I think that picture. In the product, we're not delivered to the right distribution center. Maybe because uh, they get confused, something happened there, you know. Remember that when you send a product to a different country or area, the carrier give you a number. And with this number, you can uh, be checking 
if everything is going uh, okay, right? You need to, to be following the process. Does not mean that you are going to, to do all the papers in order to send something and one month later, you are going to get the new, or you are going to ask for it and you are going to know that the, your product is not in the right place. That is part of the logistic process that we need to follow with the product. Okay, let us continue with the, with the material. Or I don't know if you want to add something. As you can see here, Alec is saying that uh, there was a problem with the order forms from the website and the product were not delivered at the right distribution center. What maybe happened? What do you imagine? Tell me. At least one reason why the product didn't uh, deliver in the right place. Hello? Hello. Okay, let, let us see in a different way. Um, and let us imagine different example related with, with the one that we have in the material. Imagine that you buy something online in a particular company. Let us say that it is a pair of shoes, platform shoes, and they promise you to send it uh, on weekend, right? But the shoes didn't appear. And you got it one week later. And also are not the ones that you chose from the catalog. What happened there? Tell me. The company maybe lost credibility. Oh, could could be. What else? You as a client, what what are you going to do if something happened that way? Uh, I said to the company, may refund the the, the salary. Okay. What else? Could you, could, could you tell us what, what the company needs to do in order to solve the issue? And what, as a client, you, are you going to do? Maybe uh, two things. 
I am going to make a um, claim and um, request a change for the product. Mm, okay. But imagine that the shoes are not the one that you select. That mean uh, you are not going to accept it. Yes. You are going to refuse and say, no, I, I asked for this, not for those. And the problem is if you already paid, what is going to happen with your money? No? That has to do with supply and change too. We need to be careful related with that. Okay, let us continue watching the material. Okay, we have uh, three questions. Discuss the answer of the question below. Number one, what costs the product to be delivered to the run distribution center terrace? And the second one, what happened to their products? And the number three, who will, who will pump coal to receive the damaged product? Okay, let us talk about this. And before I forgot, um, at the moment that I create a breakout room in the last section, uh, that was the reason why soon freeze. And I was there waiting in order to get back to the main room and it was difficult for me and I apologize for that but was not in my control, you know, in order to, to resolve the problem because suddenly when, when soon freeze, it's really difficult. I was waiting more than 45 minutes in order to, to recover the information in the video. And we missed, uh, but that problem we missed like uh, eight minutes, you know, was no, was not your fault, not even my fault, cause cause of the system, you know. For that reason, I am afraid to create break cover run again, because sometime I could freeze again. Let us talk in this way, if you want to give me an, 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 your point of view related with the power question. Just write your hand and, and tell me, okay, teacher, I consider this and I think this. But I continue inviting you to participate. So please try to do it. Oh, I'm waiting. We are talking about the first question. What caused the products to be delivered to the run distribution centers? What do you think? Tell me. Carlos, what can you tell us about? Ana Lilian? Teacher. No. Not handled correctly. They didn't handle correctly. That is the reason why that you think. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. That is your point of view. Thank you. 
somebody else. Um, the order forms. Continue. Uh, I guess that was the cause. The order form was uh, had a mistake. That's why. Okay. And le let us go beyond. What do you think could be the mistake? They don't have inform about the storage temperature. Temperature. Uh huh. Temperature. Okay. Say it. temperature. 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 Okay. What What else? Uh, Right there, we have, we can have different scenarios, but I, but I need that you think about that. Okay, tell they, me. They, they receive the, the batteries in other place. Yeah, yeah, that is why I'm asking you, what do you think could be the problem? Of course, we know that the form in the website got an error. Okay, but what could be? What happened there? Hello, hello, hello. Not delivered to the right distribution center. But there is the order form okay. on yeah. the website. And the products were not delivered to the right distribution center. Okay. And what do you think that could be the reason why uh, that happened? Maybe the company need uh, make a logistic. Uh, for the return and redistribution for the batteries and repair and the damage. Okay. A problem with order forms. For example, a uh, error or what it was. I know that you 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 got the answer, but but you don't want to share it with 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 the group. Okay, come on, go ahead. You can do it. Escobar mentioned something related with that, but my question is, what is the main point? Why the product? Uh, didn't arrive to the right place. Maybe teacher the group of the people that was in charge of um, the boxes or uh, the product packed. They get confused with with them and they change the the product. Mm, could be, could be. Okay, could be. But what else? Another option that, that could occur. Tell me. We, we, we need to think in different possibilities, you know?
Teacher. Hello. Uh, maybe uh, we can see easy, but um, there are several things. And um, for solver, the many areas, maybe they need a SWOT analysis because involucrate um maybe informatic logistic um manufacture and is a problem more big okay. and maybe they need um uh, informatic uh, resolve the problem for the farms um, manufacturer need a um, capacitator for the emballage. Um, I don't know, logistic uh, clarification uh, forms in website. I don't know. Okay. H have you seen, um, let us see this. When you buy a, a new TV, you see that is labeled with a different uh, message, right? For example, one of them said, handle with care. That means that, that what is inside, it is uh, something that if you don't move in the right way, can break it in, in pieces. And also, sometimes talk about temperatures. And uh, what, what could happen there maybe is that they got uh, their wrong address. Could be one, another option. But I would like to hear it from you. Hello? We need to discuss question two and question three. Okay, maybe I'm going to make a parenthesis and I'm going to do it in Spanish. Okay, um, how can I tell you this? Ah, bueno, como han visto, ah, siempre he venido diciéndoles que necesito que participen todos. De esa manera es como vamos a, a desarrollar más el lenguaje. Pero eh, siempre son los mismos los que están participando. Entonces, eso depende de cada uno de nosotros hasta qué punto queremos llevar, llevar o, o llegar con el desarrollo de, del idioma. Entonces, a veces eh, la clase es, se, se tiende a sentirse así como, como aburrida precisamente porque no hay participaciones. Yo les enfoco la pregunta o el tema, pero lo que encuentro es un silencio. Entonces, mi pregunta es realmente... ¿Qué es lo que sucede? Pues yo les he dado recomendaciones de tener un diccionario a la mano, de leer el material previamente para saber qué es lo que vamos a hablar o decir. Eh, en lo personal, yo se los he dicho muchas veces, no me gusta estar solo hablando porque al final eh, la clase debe estar enfocada a ustedes. Pero cuando yo no veo una respuesta, entonces... Tengo que hacerlo. Entonces, por eso les digo de que de ustedes depende cómo vamos a llevar este barco. Pues el objetivo es que cada módulo que vamos finalizando vayamos aprendiendo y desarrollando más el idioma. Entonces, yo les invito a que recapacitemos, busquemos la manera de cómo eh, transmitir nuestras ideas de lo que estamos hablando. De eso se trata. 
¿verdad? Porque yo puedo estar acá, puedo presentar cualquier material muy bonito, el material, pero si no hay una respuesta, eso se vuelve otra vez el mismo. Entonces yo necesito que, uh, que todos pongamos de nuestra parte. In my case, if I had to switch something, I had to do it. And I, I remember that I asked you if, if you want that I switch something. Cuando yo me acuerdo que les hice esa pregunta, les dije, bueno, díganme qué es lo que necesitamos que cambiemos. Nadie dijo nada, pero el silencio también dice mucho, ¿no? Entonces, uh, algunas veces, pues es necesario eh, que la comunicación es sumamente importante. Es sumamente importante. Entonces, debemos de seguir en esa línea. Que todos deben de participar. Ok, María Elena. Es que, teacher, bueno, quizás hablo por mí, disculparme, que por los trabajos, me imagino, y los horarios que tiene cada uno, es como bien complejo durante el día. Eh, revisar como dedicar, el material. Ajá, o revisar el material. Okay. Eh, personalmente, lo he descargado y lo ando en el teléfono. Ok. Pero, a veces, no siempre, porque después del accidente casi no me dejan manejar, pero a veces cuando no hay nadie más que vaya por las zonas en que yo voy, a mí me toca manejar. Y cuando voy de copiloto, digamos, es más sencillo como ver y buscar algo. Sí, cierto. Pero depende, o sea, yo pienso en mi trabajo. A, a mí me cuesta bastante durante el día revisar la clase, incluso en las clases que, que, que venía de camino, eh, yo dije, la voy a ver y pregúntame cuántas he visto, no he visto ni una, no me he quedado chance. <ríe> y, y creo que eso es como lo complejo de, de, de nosotros, ¿verdad? Que sí, estamos no, en... sí, yo comprendo esa situación. A mí me interesa un montón y trato de, de aprovechar al máximo este tiempo cuando puedo sentarme. Aquí sí. a veces estoy como masticando algo a la par porque ya vengo como medio tarde, medio parqueo, trato de dejar las llaves por ahí cerca para que si lo parqué mal y, y, y van a entrar más carros, eh, lo puedan mover. Pero ajá, me imagino que igual, así como um, yo tengo mi particularidad, así los demás compañeros y compañeras. Sí, y, no, yo, yo les felicito por el esfuerzo que hacen y es admirable, ¿cierto? Pero... También lo que les decía era de que si tal vez no ha, no ha habido oportunidad de ver el material previamente, pero cuando yo lanzo una pregunta, eh, ustedes están en toda la libertad de poder decir, mire, yo pienso esto. Yo les dije, incluso se les respeta todas sus opiniones. Y lo que tratamos es de interactuar y desarrollar el idioma. ¿Verdad? Porque eso de, de, de cuando yo pregunto y si nadie responde eh, y a veces yo me quedo esperando y solo yo hablando. O sea, para mí realmente no es, no es funcional el que yo esté, porque eso de, de la planificación está enfocada en, en Student Center, no en Teacher Center. Entonces, por eso es que a veces alguien puede decir, ay, qué aburrido esta clase. Pero si, si no le ponemos, porque aquí tenemos que poner de nuestra parte todos para que esto sea interactivo. Pero tal vez si nos pone como, yo me acuerdo que en algunos módulos nos ponía lectura. Yo sé que a veces también cuesta de que usted, usted dice quién lee y nadie quiere leer. Pues sí, ¿Ven? es que es que vea, bueno, yo he, he ido buscando las formas y, y las sigo buscando y las seguiré encontrando, ¿verdad? para llegar a un punto que, que, que todos participemos, porque algunos si no les menciono su nombre, no, 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 no me dicen ni hi. Entonces, eh, más creo de que, bueno, yo en lo personal estoy dispuesto a, a, si tengo que hacer un cambio radical, pues con gusto lo hago, para, a fin de que ustedes puedan desarrollar lo que se está haciendo. Pero... Eh, esto por ejemplo que estamos hablando yo debería estarlo diciendo no en español porque ya estamos en un nivel intermedio que se supone de que ya se comprende suficiente lo que se está hablando 
pero lo hice así de esta forma porque eh, así nadie dice o, 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 o se queda con la duda, ¿verdad? Pero yo vuelvo y redigo en lo particular, yo estoy en la disponibilidad, yo me adapto a lo que sea, sí, sí, sí hay que hacerlo por el bienestar de todos, ok, let us do it in the, that way, but if I switch something and I don't see any answer, I, 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 I expect something. When I, when I switch something, I expect something. Okay, entonces, uh, tratemos por todos los medios de, de, de incorporarnos, de, de participar, de dar nuestro punto de vista, porque de esa forma vamos a hacer que la clase sea más activa. ¿Ya? Pero si cuando yo pregunto algo, todo el mundo mejor apaga las cámaras y y como quien dice, no, yo no respondo, no sé, o sea, no se trata de eso, se trata de que seamos parte de. Así que yo no me voy a cansar de invitarlo, dice, recuerdan que les he venido diciendo, participen. A mí me gusta la participación, a mí no me gusta estar solo hablando. Entonces, ah, tratemos de, de, de hacerlo. En en mi caso, eh, yo hace poco he venido de, de sí. trabajar y le comenté que estaba un poco mal de salud y así estoy recibiendo la clase también. Y también hay partes que yo no comprendo y, y o sea, a veces vengo con el, la huella del, de la de música que trae el bus o el Uber y cualquier cosa y, y o sea, no entiendo, pues. Sí. Okay, uh, what, I, uh, what I can tell you is that you, you, you need to look for better uh, ways in order that you can get the information. You have to look for the better way, you know, in order to get the message, what we are talking about. Okay, I don't know if somebody wants to say something about or we are going to continue with the question number two. Teacher, yo a veces sí le entiendo la pregunta, pero, pero no sé cómo a veces formularle la respuesta. Entonces, si usted se fija, cuando usted dice leer, a veces llora, pero entiendo que está diciendo leer. Y así... Mal, pero lo leo, ¿va? pero cuando usted hace así una pregunta, a veces entiendo la pregunta, pero no sé cómo decirle la respuesta, no, no sé cómo formularla bien, o a veces sí no confundo una cosa con otra, pero o sea, de mi parte sí trato, ¿verdad? Participarle, pero cuando no hablo nada es por, por eso. Ok, ok, but. Don't forget tries and error, tries and error. I have told you about that. Don't worry about mistakes, but you, you try to speak, try to say something. Okay, let's go to the second question. Somebody want to say something about? What happened to their products? Tell me. According to the conversation, what happened to their products? Uh, one the phrase was no handling the corporate company and the batteries and the are damaged. Okay. Okay, perfect. Somebody else? They got um, that. The first thing Alex informed is the order forms and um, the website, uh, the products, nor delivery uh, to the right distribution centers. Okay, Miss, I want to say something about. I say that 
they got damaged because they were handled correctly. Okay. Now what about the terse uh, question? Who will come call to receive the damaged trouble? Coming. They call uh, the manager of distribution center. Okay. <laughs> mm, they call to the manufacturers. Is that right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, in order to continue and switch, we are going to make a switch here because what, uh, as I told you, what I want is that you speak English. Let us, let us make a switch now. Okay, uh, we are going to, okay, we are going to make this speaking activity. You are going to tell me uh, something about yourself. Right here, say uh, pair words, but in fact, you are going to do it alone and you are going to share with us the information uh, related with the, with the question. That's not mean that you are going to answer uh, in order every one question, no. Uh, you are going to make a, a brief summary related with all those uh, questions. And you are going to, to say, okay, I'm going to start. And you are going to start talking about uh, your, for example, who's your favorite relative? Uh, when did you first study English? Um, what subject did, didn't you like? and something like that. But what I want is that I invite you to participate, to share ideas with me. So please make an, a screenshot now. Okay. And we can start talking about this. You just need to take a look at the question and you can start telling me something related to that. Who wants to start doing it? Me teacher. Okay, tell me. Um, all right. Um, well, uh, there is a question related with the first place where I study English. Okay. Um, I didn't study English since I was uh, on first place. So I first studied English at um, Universidad Don Bosco in a free course. That was a scholarship I won. And uh, yeah, I started there. I was at high school. And also talking about uh, favorite school subjects. Well, I really like um, technology and physical education. And uh, I was, I was, I was very good at math and physics. That's a really hard school subject related with numbers and all of those. And also there is a question related with uh, my parents, where my parents are from originally Panchimalco. Oh. And yeah, all of my family is from that city. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, somebody else. Come on, I know you can do it. Um, the first question, teacher, um, my grandma and grandpa from my mother um, is the San Salvador. He's from San Salvador. My grandma, Costa Tancingo, and my grandpa, El Volcán. <laughs> um, that my father, my grandmother is Aguachapan, and my grandpa, Sonsonate. Okay. What about the rest of the question? I'm gonna answer the question one. Where were your parents born? Uh, well, my parents, my grandparents born in Ciudad Barrio San Miguel. Uh, also, my father's born here and I born here. Uh, in this place, usually the people get married with the people from the same place because oh. Uh -huh. we know each other and the family know each other and is kind of kind of I don't know where if someone get married with someone from another place. For oh, example, really? uh -huh. for example, I have a boyfriend from a Lourdes and for my family was a little a little uh, I don't know, raw, I don't know, duro, hard, I don't hard, know, difficult. Uh -huh, because, uh, difficult because they don't know their parents or their grandparents. The family. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Okay, somebody else? Communication is tough. Okay, next. Who's next? Um, where were your grand grandparents born? Is for uh, grandparents were born in San Salvador and where do you do they grow? They is a Mexican. Um, did you send them alone when you, you were in Jones? Are they grown? Uh, oops, why my partner, partner? My grandparents in, I visited my maternal uh, grandparents on weekends. Uh, my favorite relative is my grandmother. That is your favorite relative. Yeah, uh, my favorite relative is okay. grandmother. Okay. And um, where you visit to suggest the um, meeting a school? Is um, is a matematics as you say, matematics and yeah, math, mathematics, math, 
mathematics and science, science, and science and natural and idioms. Okay, talking about language. And yes. Yes, because and in, in English, when we talk about idioms, it's, it is really different, you know? All right. Okay, it is language. What the, else? The, the like the, the subject is in uh, social. In social the, studies. Social study is in notes. That is the subject. And the, the slides. Okay. Okay, somebody else. I guess this uh, this kind of topic are going to help you a lot in order that you can develop your your language. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. Teacher. Yesenia, tell me. See, where were your grandparents born? In my case, my grandmother, she burns in Sonsonato. She was Where born. did the, she was born in Sonsonate. Okay. Where did they grow up? She was grown up in San Salvador. Did you see then a lot of when you were were young. Yes, I saw my my grandmother, but I live. I was live with she. And who's your favorite relative? My favorite relative is my son. When did you first? Study English. Mm, my first place is on my school when I was when I was study Having basic education. Uh -huh. Can you speak school. other language? It is called junior. Can you... What teacher? It is called middle school or junior school, you know? Middle school. Okay. Can you speak other language? Oh, yeah. I know I speak other language, uh, but I learn in English. Okay. What were your best subjects in the middle school? My best. Hmm. No me acuerdo, teacher, por qué. <laughs> what so they what soldiers did you like didn't you like is um a statistic a statistic statistic mm -hmm. yes teacher that's it. okay it, it is good that you practice and try to tell me something and remember, at the moment that you are going to use uh, present continuous, you need to use the B form. I am studying English. I am studying English. Okay, teacher. Okay, somebody else wants to say something about this? No? Okay, I'm going to check up the attendance now. Well, as I told you, I'm trying to include different uh, aspects in the class in order that you can develop skills. What you need to do is just to practice, practice. But don't worry, don't be afraid to do it.
Ok, Adriana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Selina. Eh, Diana Stephanie. Present. Ok, uh, Eric Orlando. Francis Elizabeth. José Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Thank you, Laura. Laura. Present teacher. María Present. Concepción. Okay, Present Mar teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. Ok, María Elena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok, uh, Mayra Veralice. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Um, Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Yesenia Suleima. Yesenia Lisset. <laughs> ya cambió el nombre, teacher. ¿Mm? Jenny. No, es Jenny Suleima, Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia Suleima. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I mix. I'm sorry. Okay, let me see who's number six. Quien es numero seis? Diana Stephanie Ventura. Are you there? Yes? Yes. It is possible that you stay at the end of the class. Okay. Correspond one by one. Okay, okay thank you. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know if you want, before we we finish, I uh, want to ask something about, I don't know. I'm still here waiting. Peter. Hello, sir. Um, I will, I will vote that you keep the speaking activities for the next classes. Just, okay. yeah, just like you did today, short activities to, to remember or, or develop those common day-to-day -day speaking. Okay. Yeah. Yes, teacher, help us. Yes, of course, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to look for different strategies in order that you can develop the, the language, but I invite you to, 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 to participate. Suddenly, if you don't understand something, you can ask me a question and tell me, teacher, could you explain it in a different way? And I'm going to look another way in order that you can understand. For that reason, we start in a different way today, you know? And we are going to do it in order to help you. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope to see you uh, not tomorrow because tomorrow is a day off. Congratulations to all the mothers that I have here. Tomorrow is a special day for you. Of course, that has, uh, would be, it's going to be better if all the year yeah we can respect our moms but you know it's in this way and i hope that you enjoy it congratulations congratulations thank you teacher thank you teacher and i hope to see you i hope to see you after Wednesday. tomorrow right <laughs> Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Yes, it's going to be Wednesday. Okay. Bye bye. See you. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. See you, teacher. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good day, the mothers. Okay.
Ana Stephanie. Oh, hola, teacher. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, I would like, I'm, I'm okay to kind of worry about the class because um, in fact, I don't like, I, I don't want to be just the, uh, speaking alone and asking questions. And I got only just two or three answer, you know, mm -hmm. and that's, uh, well, I, I've been, I've been thinking, I've been looking for a better way in order to help, uh, in order to, to, to increase vocabulary. And I know that you are making a, a, a big effort in order to be at this time, because uh, work the whole day is really hard and I stay in front of the computer or the cell phone two hours is really hard too. But at the end, we are going to have the results. All the effort that we make, at the end, we are going to get something. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know if you have any questions so far or any comment related with with the class or something that you want to tell me? Okay, uh, really, I I have studied English for in the university. I already get a TOEFL IBT. Okay. Uh -huh. So I think that I have the the basic uh, knowledge about English, but I I really need to practice because the my work and if I want to grow, I need to learn English and practice. Uh, some case I I stayed a little I don't know I not I don't speaking because I do something else because I think that people uh, are practicing and this is so long and I do something else to to be entertained so in some case i i lost the the class i don't know the la sintonía me pierdo la sintonía de la clase lost the connection I, I, I lost the connection because i do something else because that people uh, do the same and the same and the same things and yes yes I, uh, and I understand your, your, your position, but uh, as you can see, I've been trying to, to do something different and they continue in the same behavior. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I think that I want to practice and I try to practice because I really want to, to learn English, but uh, this behavior make me stay a little inactive i don't know yes yes i i i, I understand you mm -hmm. and at, i remember at the beginning i told you uh to the whole group that i consider if somebody is an in intermediate in this case uh in the module number four that means that you are able to communicate your ideas mm -hmm. yeah um, uh, okay i I'm think sorry. that I, I think my case is different because I work from 8 to 4 p.m. And from 5 p.m. I'm free. So okay. I, I have a time to practice or I don't know. And in the class, I off my camera because my internet is so bad. I I only have five megas. I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, some case I put on, put on I don't know because it doesn't rain or uh, it's okay or the people in my house it doesn't use internet so I, I put it on but for example now my father is in class too so I can I can use it uh -huh. yeah it's, it's really difficult when when two or three are using the same service suddenly uh -huh. you are going to get uh, and you are going to lose the connection or something like that you know uh -huh. Yeah, I, I understand that, but well, as you can see, uh, I've been trying to switch a little bit with the activities in order that uh, they can improve and participate, but uh, it's really it's really hard because even though that I'm trying to do something different, there are some of them that they don't want to speak. 
And well, and I'm, I'm going to look for different strategies, but at the end, all depend on the interest that people have, that, and that way you are going to learn something, you know? Yeah, I think the strategy you use today is a good uh, name and the people to call, to yes. talk. Uh, I think that this will work in another uh, class. Yes, uh -huh. of course it is. And also include uh, different aspect, you know. The problem is that I remember when I started working in this, uh, this company, uh, they told me that I can do it. But suddenly somebody else told me, no, you can do it. And at the end I said, who, who, who is telling me the truth? Then for that reason, sometimes I go uh, directly in a square with my lesson plan. But I, I know that I need to make a switch in these cases because, and another question that I have for you is, uh, this is the first module that you are attending or you did you attend the previous one? Because, because of the level that you have, maybe what they can do is just to make a, a kind of space or something like that and put it in an advanced level. And that way you are not going to feel uh, kind of disappointed because uh, of the environment that you are seeing here. Yeah, this is my first model. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, actually, uh, Eric and I are boyfriends, and oh, he's okay. my boyfriend. Uh -huh. And I saw the post in Instagram, so I I tell to him that we should take this class because we need to practice. Yes, uh, and, and, and I think that he is feeling the same way. Yeah, for example, yeah. today he was a little tired and he told me that he wanna, I don't know, be, uh, be able to learn in another way, but I will tell him that we need to, to stay here. Uh -huh. I, we will give the opportunity to this model uh, for the mom and at the end we will, I don't know, be an introspective. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then do you know what happened? Uh, suddenly when we have a, a different level, but also when we study something that we, we are studying here, we maybe we can find different new words, different terms, different aspects that we can apply in, in a different areas, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, well, I, I've been trying to, 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 to switch a little bit because I remember at, uh, when I started working, uh, I used to work in a, as a manager in a company, not only just giving classes as a teacher, but the problem is that um, when I start using all the, 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 the technical vocabulary, people, they don't understand sometimes and I need to be as concentrated in the material. And that, that is the reason why I, I, I follow the line. But at the end, I realized that in this case, with this group, I need to switch a little bit and try to implement different strategies in order to help them to develop not only just speaking, but also listening and, and reading. In previous module, I remember I, I was presented some reading and only just five or six people uh, tried to do it. And the rest, they say, no, we can do it. But uh, we are doing our best in order to help them, you know. And I invite you to continue and, and try to um, do your best too. And that way you are going to increase your, your, your abilities. Because if you already have uh, the, the TOEFL test, that means that you have studied for more than two years, I guess. Yeah, I really, I studied for one year because in my university, the English was so hard and I should learn or learn because I need a TOEFL to get my degree. Oh. And uh -huh, so Eric and I study a lot all the day, also Sundays and Saturdays, but now we are so fresh 
with yeah. English. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, we we graduated uh, as a two years or one mm. years and a half. Years. So from years that uh -huh, for time for that time we doesn't practice. Oh, okay. uh, uh, also, I recommend you a webinar from our university because they are so cool and they are searching for uh, teachers, oh, okay. uh, English teacher, uh -huh, the English teacher webinars in the thing. Uh -huh. They okay. have a program for teachers uh -huh, and was so good because I, I don't fact, know. In fact, I, I've been attending something that is called Teacher App that is for, from the American embassies. I, okay. I, guess it, I guess it is the same. Yes, yes. Uh, today I saw a, a post from the Zen that we will have another program. Uh huh. And um, are free. And that's so good. Uh, my teacher was a Vietnamese. And uh, they uh, only call us in English. So yeah. I really don't think no uh, a lot in English. I only know that verb to be in, the, uh, <laughs> in, my, in my college. Okay. But they have a, a, a good strategy to, to teach us. Yeah, yes, sure, I know that. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I was attending some, some, uh, some webinar related with that. And also, and I, I was in the same uh, way like you, because in the group that I was, I, I felt something like that, because a lot of people, but only us, a few try to speak and the rest just listening, and listening and listening. Mm -hmm. What well, was really, really difficult. But uh, the most important thing is that we need to practice and, and that way we are going to increase our knowledge. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you very you much to stay at the end of the class. Um, and I do really appreciate your recommendation. I'm going to take into account in order to to help myself and also help the rest of the of, of the class, you know. Okay, thank you. You too give me this time. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. Night. Okay, bye-bye.